To some breaking news now in Collier County, a Collier County commissioner accused of hitting his girlfriend took a trip to jail today. Rick Locastro didn't spend more than a few hours behind bars for the warrant he received last week. But he did spend a few days in the hospital and during that time he put out a statement proclaiming his innocence. So what's next for Co Commissioner Locastro? The governor, is he going to have to step in and get involved, potentially remove him from office? The Night Beats Taylor Wirtz joins us live from Physicians Regional Medical Center, where law enforcement got their man and hauled him off to jail. Taylor, you reached out to his fellow commissioners. Did you hear back from anyone? Amanda, I reached out to every Collier County commissioner and official I could think of, including LeCastro himself, and got no response. But as we learned last week, he does believe he is innocent. Collier County District 1 Commissioner Rick LeCastro is out of jail tonight after paying a $1,000 bond. But the jail wasn't his first stop after he was accused of getting violent with his ex-girlfriend on October 28th. The day after Wink News told you about his arrest, LeCastro's attorney told us he was actually in the hospital. For what, we don't know. But according to the report, a Collier County Sheriff's deputy met him at Physicians Regional Medical Center around one Monday afternoon and took him to the Naples Jail Center. LeCastro's attorney provided Wink News with a statement saying in part, we understand she made several statements. In one of those statements, she denied any wrongdoing by Mr. Locastro. We are also gathering the final pieces of our evidence that we are confident will show Commissioner Locastro's innocence. The report from October says the victim originally called 911 after the alleged altercation happened, but didn't give officers any details on how she got her injuries because she was afraid. She called Marco Island Police a few days later and said during an argument, Lo Castro had pulled her out of the car they were in, hit her nose, and pushed her into the bushes. Lo Castro issued a statement in response saying she had a nosebleed due to a deviated septum. He also claims she was drunk and fell into the bushes. The assistant state attorney found there was enough evidence for a battery offense and issued an arrest warrant. Lo Castro was in the hospital not long after. The Florida Constitution does give Governor DeSantis the power to suspend LeCastro from office if he chooses to do so. I reached out to his people today to see if that is something he might do, and I'm waiting to hear back. LeCastro does have an arraignment on March 6th. On the night beat, Taylor Wirtz, Week News.